Hi everyone, so I'm back to do another Let's Make video with you. Now I've been asked this a hundred times if not more, um, how I do the covers for my Traveller's Notebook. So um, if I'm using fabric that will be my outside cover. I use um, a couple of layers of just plain cardstock. I've also got a bit of coffee dyed cardstock and I'm going to show you how I do it. Right. So with my first one, I fold it in half. That gives me my centre bit. Just making sure I'm all in frame here. Right, then with that um, centre piece, I just put it on six on here. Right, um, with my little doobie me, doobie me flip. And I'll score down there. Then I'll go out uh, three eighths of an inch, I think that's right, three, so it's just from the six, I'll count one, two, three, score, then another three from the other side, one, two, three, okay, then I fold it back in half, and you can use like whatever um, cardstock you like, right, I'm making um, this journal at the moment, which is purple medley from Artemis, right, now, I just, I don't really line it up with it, I'm just doing that just to make sure it's all flush. And I go out about um, four, four little marks from the edge of there. That then gives me some room when this is closed, as you see when I go along, okay? So I'm going to move that out of the way for a second. And I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. You could do it on your paper trimmer, but this is just how I do mine. Um, that's my knife. Can't buy the blades for these anymore. I've got a little video somewhere along the line showing you. Well, I'm going to show you now, but I just use one of these blades. Keep it pretty low. And generally it goes all the way through, all the way down. But you do have to hold it, all right, and discard that little bit. Okay, then I come in with another sheet of card. And... On this one here, which I've already scored, I just rub a little bit of glue. You could put a bit of fabric, um, some fabric uh, washi tape that's wide enough, or some of that other stuff, Tyvek. I don't have any Tyvek at the moment. I probably do, actually, I just don't know where it is. Okay, <clears throat> then I'll just trim this off. Oh, where's my knife? Oh, a bit blunt. The glass cutting board does blunt this knife up a lot. I'm just going to snap a piece off. Okay, back to doing this. <laughs> right. Put that to one side, turn it around. I think this cardstock is something like... 160 or 180 GSM. I do not know what that is in pounds for uh, you guys in America because we work in a GSM. Uh, okay, so put that back. Find the middle again. Put it up to the six. I just always go by the middle, the six, because um, I know I'm not going to go wrong. So obviously if your journal is wider, then you just mark it to as wide as you need it to be then just keep that there my coffee dyed piece which i just had to dry in on my heater with the coffee dyed facing down i then put some glue on here again need to get some glue again i use a lot of this okay I'm just going to move that actually so you can see better. Right, so with the coffee dyed piece facing downwards, turn that around and line it up. And normally I'd have to put my head in the way, but I'm going to try my best here not to get my head in the way. And then I'm going to trim that off to level it all up. <clears throat> You know, when you coffee dye things, they shrink. Everything shrinks. 
I wish I shrunk with the amount of tea and coffee that I drink. <laughs> but anyway, the drying process. All right, so I've got a little bit of overhang there. So I will just trim that off. It didn't come away in one piece as I wanted it to. Then I come back in with this. Yeah, and just put it at them. Where did that go? Put it at the six, the middle line at the six. Go down, score the other one. Your score lines are already there for you, so just reinforce them with, you know, your scoring tool. Right. Now, I'm going to find a piece of fabric. Do I want fabric? Um... I actually might use some cardstock. So I've got this, which is purple, because the kit I'm working with is purple. Let's see what nice papers I have left in here. Oh, that's very purple. Eh? Um, oh, that's pretty. That's too busy for my liking. Right, I don't really have much of the purple left. Used all that up. How many pages do I have in that? 24 designs used all the good ones up i think right i'm going to use the reverse side of this one because it's kind of it's got hints of purple in it i'm going to be covering the front up anyway okay so because <clears throat> i'm using that side put that side down there the white side again just add some glue if i was using fabric i would uh, use my decoupage glue which is the uh, three to one ratio um, which I have in a little jar here with uh, PVA glue but <clears throat> I'm not so I don't need to and then I'm just going to try and get me not to get my head in the way just line that up with the top press that down and then obviously trim this off really thick cardstock um oh i missed that completely uh there you go always happens when you're on camera <laughs> uh, i think it's because i can't look right over because i'd be head butting my phone here we go right and then trim down there i would if it was fabric i'd be doing exactly the same only i'd be using my scissors to trim off around the edges because my rotary cutter thing fell to bits and I lost a little screw thing that was holding it all together so then I go back in with this again find the six on the middle the middle score line you know for a, oops for a brief moment there I thought did I actually hit record <laughs> oh, that would just be my luck oh goodness oh, everything's not working right tonight my hand just went all shaky then as well uh, oh geez right i don't know why that's happening but it is right is it not lined up properly this never normally happens it's just testing me tonight it's making me look like an idiot uh there you go you should have all the like skew effy lines everywhere but there we go all right so then that's marked on that side Okay, I'm going to go and I'm just going to stitch all around the edge. Um, I'll do like a little zigzag stitch and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've stitched all around the edge. Then I would come in with my ruler. Excuse me, <clears throat> I've got really bad heartburn tonight. I don't know what's caused it. Right, so I'll find the centre. Um, because the page is uh, eight and a quarter so um, it's from the center out there is four and um, one eighth um, anyway I'm rubbish at inches mark it in the center then I go out to two and then two again I'm not going to sew it all in because I have done this this part loads before anyway and I would just come in with 
my needle and I'd pierce the hole. This needle's a bit sticky. I'll have to clean that. I use like these darning needles, the quite thick needles. I have got one of them, is it an awl they call it? I've got that, but I find that too th the hole too big. Okay. Um and I just, you know, kind of fold it in the hat in the, where the half mark is, and then on the outside, and when the journal is actually sewn in like that, um I just then manipulate that crease there and that there and I obviously as you've seen I've done the three holes I haven't punched the holes in this yet um, and I use the three hole pamphlet stitch so I go in through the middle out in back through the middle out through here and tie in the knot and I like I said I have done that part before but I know it was just the covers everybody wanted to see me do. So that's how. And then obviously I'll decorate that um, however I wish when um, it comes to doing the cover. Because I always do. I always decorate the cover last. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, and like I said, a lot of people would ask. So I just thought I'd do that quick video for you. Uh, any questions, just ask. And thank you for watching.